Welcome to another Turner's Tales. I've come up to the giraffe section to catch up to find out how the zebras are getting on with Tina. Tina. Hi Ian, you're right. <laughs> um, yeah, as you can see, um, our group um, are enjoying a bit of um, winter sunshine today, um, but everyone is doing absolutely fantastic at the moment. So we've got five young ones, is that right? Yes, yes it yeah. is. And we've got, which one was the oldest one? Oh, well, sure. this one just behind us is Saga. Um, she just pinches it off Jinga, and um, she's actually 20 now, so she's getting into those golden ages. So the ages are 20 years old is the oldest. Yep. Youngest is? Uh, just turned a year, well, just over a year now. Um, so we can't ask them. They're not looking like foals. We still can technically call them foals, because you can tell the difference, but they're not far off looking like full adult zebras now. Um, so, but they're doing absolutely fantastic at the moment. Because one of the things is when baby zebras are born, they're not black and white, are they? No, they're not. They actually come out sort of a brownie colour and very fluffy as well. And that just helps them camouflage into the savannah where they originate from and helps them hide from predators. Um, but now, as you can see behind, they've all got their beautiful um, dark black stripes coming through, which actually means we can start properly telling them apart. They all have their individual stripes, like we have individual fingerprints, our hair are different, it just helps us tell us apart. Um, some of them have got individual stripes that are easy to spot, others, like like Saga, we more tell her from her floppy ears and her pers grumpy personality kind of thing. So um, they're starting to bring out their stripes and their personality. So we're getting to learn what they are. Because they, they cope quite well with winter. But we've got to that stage now where we're physically locking them in every night, aren't we? Yes, today is a really nice day. They're enjoying the sunshine. Saga's just grazing behind us. Um, but they're a lot hardier than some of our animals, but they still need some care around this time of year. Normally in the summer, they're out 24 hours a day. We just say hello to them and make sure they're all right. But now they actually come up to the house. They have boxes, which is right next to the giraffe. So they can actually, when they go to bed, they actually look out onto the giraffe. And they're very British. You know, we have the front door and each of them line up. And sometimes Sometimes there's a few arguments but they generally come in at the same order and each go into their individual boxes to spend the night and they just get a few nuts just as a reward for coming in, spend a lovely warm night in the house and then they come back out into the reserve for the day. And they're looking really good at the minute. Aren't yeah, they? I mean, considering when they get a bit older, you can often see like they start to lose their muscle tone, and you know you, you start to get a bit stiff, bit arthritis in. But Saga, for her age, I hope I look as good as her when I'm technically her age, really, because she's looking in fantastic condition. Well, obviously you can see the grazers look because they're just eating the grass, but they get a few pellets, like you say, is a, a, a treat for coming inside, don't they? Yeah, it's basically a specialised pellet, grazer pellet, that um, is ideal for this species. It's just basically a reward for them coming in at night and also because the grass isn't as good quality and the only other thing that they get is hay and that's all they need to survive off. They don't need a lot of nutrients, they're designed to live out in Africa when things are quite sparse so they're quite an easy species to look after really. And the number we've got at the moment is just about the right number for what we want, isn't it? Yes, um, we don't have a stallion at the moment. Um, EB, our last stallion, did his job, as we've talked about. We've had some lovely foals and he's moved on to spread his genetics elsewhere. Um, we do have two little boys in here who are now castrated, but the group's working really well. We've got Khabibi and Olivia, who are kind of the leaders of the group, and everything's nice and settled. Sometimes they have their family disputes some days, um, but the group's a nice number and really settled, so um, we're just looking forward to what the next months bring, and hopefully once winter's out the way, we'll get back to enjoying the lovely lunch grass and the hot summer days really. Thanks Tina. Well that's it for another Turner's Tales. Nice to catch up with the zebras. They're doing really good. Catch up later on. <laughs>